This is a Mongolian yurt. It's a big tent. Bye bye. And we're having a little uh, weekend bye Mongolian bye. yurt holiday here in Suffolk. And uh, we are glamping. It's kind of like lazy people's camping because you get everything. You get the tent, you get the bed, you get a wood burner, uh, you get uh, a kitchen, toilet, shower, everything. Um, but I'll show you around, it's very cool. So there's no bellboy, but you do get this 100-year-old cart to move your luggage, which I think is pretty cool. And the best of all, you don't have to tip. It's the walk of shame. Thankfully, I don't have a toilet bowl in my hand. <laughs> Did you use a leaf? I used leaves and a bit of shanty paper that I found, which was nice. That's my girl. Mm. So it's morning here in our yurt. Did you guys sleep well last night? Yeah. Are you really cozy in there? Yeah. Now we've got a little morning fire going. Yes. So one thing about the yurts is in the daytime it gets really quite hot inside. So it's a bit too hot for Akira to have a nap inside so they've gone al fresco. It's working really well. Yeah. Sound Look how sleepy he looks. <laughs> <laughs> so I love it here, do you? I like it, I like it, yeah. I like it. I think it's like the perfect combination of camping and a bit of glamour because truthfully glamour. oh no but camping with kids. It's a lot of logistics. A lot of work. A lot of stuff. And a lot of stuff to bring. Whereas here you just bring your stuff, your bags, your new clothes and everything's set up and there's the luxury in that you feel like you're camping although you've got lovely duvets and you can look at the stars at night, that's yeah. a massive bonus. And then there's a kitchen with um, everyone's got their own cupboard and fridge and cooker and there's even a laundry room and there's showers and toilets and it's nice isn't it, we like it. So you don't get, you don't get yeah. the kind of grubby camping feeling after about four hours of being here. The great thing is there's three other yurts other than ours and we booked it with friends and family so all the kids kind of play together there's a lot of open spaces for them to play in. So it's like a big hippie commune. And nearby there's a lot of walks and there's nice towns nearby. It's beautiful. And the other thing hippie commune wise is at night when you finally get the kids into bed, there's an amazing communal campfire area. And last night we toasted marshmallows with the kids yeah. and then the adults all sat around with a bottle of wine. And you can actually socialize because you can all hear your yurts and your children. So it's amazing. Fantastic, I come again. Love it. Love it.